video. First we are going to do weathering. When rain hits the rocks, the rocks breaks. Next, ice and snow can break rocks. So the ice goes in the rocks and expands and the rocks breaks. Then for erosion. Erosion can happen from acid rain, from regular rain, wind, and temperature change. You see here that the trees are near the ocean because the wind pushed the seeds near the ocean. Now this seed seed got pushed away and fell into a into a cracked rock. Then the rock then the rock had a flower growing into it. No no for weathering again, the rain is breaking down the wood from of the house because of the acid rain. Rain, rain broke down the mount rocks from the mountain. When the wind's pushing the waves, and the rocks. That's hard in the ocean, they're breaking down. One could push anything like sand, rocks. So you see here that the sand got turned into a sand dune because of the wind. What? Right during an erosion. Winning by <laughs> Ricardo. Pigeons. Talia. Kiki and Allison. Page one, before the rock was not cracked, but when the accent rain came down, it cracked. Page two, after the, after the rock was weathered down, the wind carried it away. In the before picture, the rain watered the sea next. It grew splitting down the rock in half. Page four, the blizzard came and cracked the tree because it was too cold. Page five. The water is running down this rock. Page, page six. When the rain water steeps into the sidewalk, it starts to break apart and crack. Page seven. The water weathers down the rock, making it change shape. Page eight. When the rain, when the rain, when it's rain, the rocks slide down the mountain, making them break. Welcome to an educational video about weathering and erosion, featuring Keisha, Rodney, Farouk, Rahaf, and Khalees. First, let's visit weathering. Before we start, just stick this to your mind. Weathering is the breaking down of rocks. This picture shows us a rock with a little crack. Due to the rain, The second picture shows how the rock's crack gets bigger due to the snow and the wind. The third picture shows how the rock's crack gets bigger after months of wind. The last picture shows how the rock cracks completely after a year. Now, let's move on to erosion. You should know, ero you should know that erosion moves things away. Weathering and erosion are partners. While weathering breaks things down, erosion cleans it up by moving it to a new place. On the first picture, this rock is near a river. After a while, the rain falls, causing the rocks to shrink, and the water carries the rocks away. Every time the rain falls, the rock shrinks, and the water carries the rock away. After a year of rain and wind, the rock is completely broken. That's all about the video. We hope you learned something from this. Goodbye and thank you for watching. Weathering and erosion. Did you know ice, wind, water, flower, and temperature change are agents of weathering and erosion? Water breaks rocks into pieces and gets into the cracks. 
of the rock. And when it turns into ice and cracks, and the cracks get wider. A plant seed can get into the cracks of the rock and make the plant, and when the plant grows, the roots can crack the rock even more. Weathering makes canyons. Water in the ocean pulls the sand in the water that is erosion. Erosion moves things by wind and water. They they make it they move it from one place to another. That is how sand dunes are bigger than each other. Sand dunes are wide places where if you don't see sand dunes, you see it the next day. Weathering and erosion work as a team. Weathering breaks it down, erosion moves it. And that's weathering and erosion. See you next time. Weathering and erosion. By Jaquela, Jennifer, Gabriella, Hanin, and D'Angelo. When rain, sleet, snow, hail breaks down the rocks in different forms. When water starts to break down rocks, it takes a long time for it to happen. When a rock has been weathered, it's time for erosion. Erosion takes place after weathering. After weathering, it is erosion moves the small leftover away by wind, by wind, rain, soil, or plant. When when wind blows, no, when mountains slim down as in they get smaller by wind, ice, plants, and water. When when wind blows, flower petals and everything small away. When you leave your car outside and it's been raining for a long time, it starts to become oxidation. When a volcano erupts, it sometimes causes an earthquake that erodes the ground to have a large crack in the floor of the front of the of the earth. When water can make a mountain in the well, when water can make a mountain in the water move side from side, erosion eroding the rock all around it, it caught it creates erosion by taking a long time to break down. Weathering and erosion. Some of the agents of weathering are water, plants, ice, oxidation, temperature change, and wind. Some of the agents of erosion are water, wind, and gravity. Water is one of the strongest agents of weathering and erosion. Weathering is the breaking down of something such as this rock, it's breaking down. Erosion is the moving of it. An example of plant weathering is this rock is already cracked because of weathering and the tree drops a seed in it. Eventually, the seed becomes a sapling and the rock try, it starts to expand to make room for it. Weathering and erosion can cause up to a big format such as the Great Canyon. Weathering and erosion work as a team, also they may take a lot of time. There 
is a chemical and physical weathering. Chemical, an example of chemical weathering is oxidation, and an example of physical weathering is a rock breaking down. Even if you try to prevent weathering and erosion, eventually you can't prevent it.